Joining me now from Washington is the bureau chief for BuzzFeed, John Stanton. Uh, John, this is a weird dispute insofar as it is decidedly deeply domestic and partisan and also completely global. Um, and I want to focus on what's happening in Congress here, which is Republicans attaching IRS regulations to approval of a, an aid package to Ukraine. This seems fairly unprecedented. John McCain seemed really, really angry about this. Is McCain rage enough to sway the Republican Party? Um, I, I, actually, I don't know that, that McCain's rage is going to have much to do with this at all, frankly. And, uh, but I'm not sure that ultimately Republicans are going to hold up this bill. Right now, I think that for people like Mitch McConnell and, and some of the folks in the House, uh, picking a fight with the administration over the IRS is really good for them in terms of their primary politics. You know, that because of what happened with Lois Lerner and all of those, the, the, you know, that controversy last year, they can sort of point to that and say, we're still trying to stick up for you. The administration is dragging its feet. They'd rather be able to, you know, go after people's free speech than help Ukraine. And then ultimately, they end up caving and giving in and letting the Ukraine go through. That's sort of been the, pa the pattern with them on a lot of the things that they've, they've fought with the administration over the last couple of years. And so to a certain degree, it could end up being that way, where they sort of have this good fight, they can then cut an ad on it and show that, you know, Mitch McConnell stood, stood firm for the First Amendment and then ultimately had to give in in order to help the people of Ukraine. But it, it doesn't look good, at, um, uh, certainly on the international stage, for, for us to be having this sort of random fight over something that really nobody except for a handful of people care about. Well, you know, but I will say, I mean, the White House, this was made clear in um, an article in the New York Times by Jonathan Weissman. There's mutual self-interest. I mean, these regulations aren't even supposed to be done for a year, so the White House could theoretically say, okay, fine, you get what you want, and we are advocates of free speech, or, you know, I mean, that would be a capitulation to Republican demands in, 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 you know, in sort of name, but not substantively at all. That said, you know this better than I do, Democrats, and in particular Harry Reid, have been going after special interest money and the Koch brothers with renewed gusto. And I would say, um, you know, in my mind, uh, it's high time that they do that. But the, the Koch brothers have been their sort of whipping post for the last few weeks. So to do anything that would take pressure off of them, which is to say relax the regulatory process, would be a, a major rhetorical defeat for the Democrats, if nothing else, it seems. Oh, that's absolutely true. I, you know, Harry Reid is not going to um, let the White House just sort of do that either, I think. And I don't think that the administration wants to. I think President Obama doesn't mind having these fights with Republicans. And most of the time, frankly, they've turned out okay for him. If you look at anything from the shutdown to some of the early budget fights and appropriations fights when Republicans first took over the House in 2011, you know, th he's always ended up sort of coming out of the end of it looking okay or, or better in some cases. And, uh, you know, in a situation like this where it is a pretty sort of down-in-the-weeds kind of a rule where, you know, the, the base of the Republican Party sort of gets this a little bit. The really activist types understand the, some of the rulemaking and have opinions about it. And for the left, you know, anytime you say the Koch brothers, you know, their heads start to explode. And so for them, there's no real good reason to, to give in. They feel like they can probably end up winning this thing. So I, I don't see either side bending on it in the end. You know, I feel like everything that Congress does these days is disturbing. But the fact that we are <laughs> tagging the IRS onto a Ukraine aid package, it's like, what's next, Benghazi and sanctions? I mean, the whole, <laughs> my mind just sort of quietly exploded when I first heard it. I keep waiting for Whitewater to come back somehow. <laughs> John Stanton, build it and they will come. Thank you for your time, my friend. Happy Friday. You too.